Yeah, I mark the beginning with the bell. So it's, uh, let's restore ourselves back to our full glory, I hope. And we start seated comfortably. Don't forget you can sit on the cushion if you need to. And let's just rub the hands together to begin. Let's just shake off the day. Shake off the day. I'm just bringing all the energy into this. And breathe into the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. Set the hands drop down. Maybe just uh, kind of shake the shoulders up a little bit and then we'll do some shoulder shrugs. So breathing in, lift the shoulders up. And release out through the mouth. <sighs> Ah, good, yeah. And again, breathing in. And out through the mouth. And one more time, breathing in. Squeeze the shoulders right up by the ears. Hold the breath in for a second. And out through the mouth. Let's just roll the shoulders back. Let the arms be nice and heavy. Just oil the joints. Oil the shoulder joints, yeah. And just squeezing out any last bit of tension that might be up there in the neck and also in the jaw, just relax the mouth. And forwards with the shoulders, just squeezing. Slowly squeezing, keeping the breath moving in and out through the nostrils. So we're just getting the shoulders a little bit more active. I can certainly feel, oh, there's a little bit of tension there. And it's just warming up the shoulders a little bit, waking up the body a little bit. Let's interlink the fingers, breathing in. And as you breathe out, push the hands up, extend through the elbows. And as you extend the body, feel the abdominals getting lengthened and strengthened. They're supporting the lower back. They're active and activated. Keep the back of the neck long. Chin is slightly tucked in, so you get this lovely long back of the neck. Thinking about the top of the head reaching up to the hands. But the shoulders are down away from the ears, so it's a lot going on in the arms and the shoulders here. Good, lifting the chest, lifting the ribs. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, lower the hands down slowly to the sides. Okay, good. Just rest the hands on the knees for a second. And we'll just chant the mantra on three times. So give it your full voice. And the key thing is to drop the jaw. So maybe just uh, get the jaw a bit ready. Give that a little bit of a, a rub, with the fingers, get them in right into the cheeks. And just get the jaw a bit more loosened. Ever so, a lot of tension easily comes into the jaw. So, three long, loud arms. Let the jaw drop open. Nobody's watching. Breathing in. Ah. And again, breathe in deeply. Raise our vibration. Um, one more time. moment to see how that feels, how that rings in the body. The great thing about mantra, which Om is a part of the mantra, is it's mind protecting. It's a, a way of diverting the mind away from its usual kind of shenanigans. So we place the hands on the knees. Now we're going to do some lovely circling and getting this energy in the hips and the lower back. So begin by breathing in, lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders down. Keep that length in the body. Keep that uprightness. As you breathe out, you're leaning forwards. And then as you breathe in, you're coming around to the sides. Breathing in, you're leaning back. And breathing out, we're coming forwards. But we're drawing a big circle. Keep the elbows nice and soft and bendy. But keep lifting. On the inhale, keep thinking about lifting and elevating the chest. Front of the body's really open. Belly is open but engaged and long. Back is engaged. And we're rotating. We're kind of pivoting on the base of the spine. Yeah, rolling around. Matching. The movement to the breath. Come back to centre, breathing in. 
Lift the chest, lengthen the body as you breathe out, but keep the shoulders down, leaning forwards, and then go the other direction, breathing in, leaning back. Ah, oh, feels good. Opening the hips up, warming the lower back, easing out that tension that might have gathered there. Really reminding ourselves to use these abdominals in partnership with the lower back. They are in relationship. They're in a healthy, balanced relationship. How oh, great that would be. Good. Coming forwards and come right back and come back to center. Beautiful. So we're going to bring the left hand down to the left side. We're going to open up the sides of the body, just releasing tension as our main aim here. Breathing in, extend the right arm up. Watch that right hand as it comes over the body. Bending into the left elbow, reaching right over. Keep both sitting bones down. Try to make sure the arm isn't flopping in front of the face. You want to get really open in the side here. The ribs, the side waist the armpit, the shoulder. Really, you can lean quite heavily into that um, left hand. But keep the shoulder relaxed away from the ears still. Reaching right into the fingertips, keep breathing in and out. Use the inhale to lift up and the exhale, turn the palm and the palm comes down. Stay interested in what you're doing by watching your body. Put the right hand down, the fingers are facing forwards. Breathing in, reaching up through the left side of the body. Extend the fingers to the skies and breathing out, reaching over the body. Keep the sitting bones down. So lovely, particularly the space between uh, the left hip and the rib cage. This area, oh, it's lovely to get that bit of space there. Yeah, space for the breath, space for you to move, space to feel, space for the movement, for movement to happen. You know, once we're tensed up, there's no movement, there's less movement. Movement is restricted. Use the inhale now to come up. And the exhale, lower the arm down. Good. Let's take the right hand onto the left knee. Take the left hand behind us onto the fingertips or the fingers there. Breathe in, lift the chest again, lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. As you breathe out, feel the left ribs come around first on the exhale. And inhale, when you next have to inhale and lengthen every exhale, you're twisting a little deeper. The left shoulder is coming around behind you. And then finally, your eyes, your nose. Your face is twisting or looking behind you. Keep the neck nice and long. Back of the neck is nice and long, that is. So it means the chin is slightly tucked in. Breathing in length from one more time. Like the, the crown of the head is going up to the ceiling and then untwist with that lovely length there still intact. Beautiful. Just have a little bit of a shuffle around, maybe move the shoulders. How does that feel now? A bit more agile. Take the right fingertips behind. Keep the hand or the arm close to the body, left hand on the right knee. Breathing in, lift the chest, lengthen. As you breathe out, the right ribs are coming around first of all. Then you inhale, lengthen. Exhaling the right chest and the right shoulder and then the eyes and the nose and the chin are all following. Keep the neck long. So back of the neck, chin is slightly tucked in. Top of the head, the crown is feeling a sense of lifting, elevating to the ceiling. Think of the, the lower back, nice and comfortable and supported by the abdominals. Keep the shoulders down, away from the ears, breathing in. One more, and then breathing out, come back to the front. Wow, that feels much better for my spine. Good. So let's uh, bring the hands to the heart center, opening the chest, opening the heart. So it might got a bit sticky this heart space. We're going to open it up nice and gradually. Breathing in, open the chest, lift the chin slightly, breathing out, bring the hands back to the heart center. So we're kind of coming in and out, internal and external, opening up, receptive, inspirational, and then coming back, just coming into your little inner world there. Expansion, beautiful, big expansion, sunshine. And then contraction, coming back down into the dark. So we feel this two ends of the spectrum, this big, bright opening. And then this kind of closing, protective. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy that full scope of expression. Breathing in, the fingers go right back. Breathing out. Yeah, just kind of drawing a circle around yourself. Breathing in one more time, open wide, open the heart, and then just create a nice closing little seal on that. Beautiful. Good. 
Okay, so we're just going to come on to all fours now, however you find comfortable. Little um, cat stretch, just a simple one. Keep the hands underneath the shoulders, keep the elbows nice and bendy. Feet are flat behind, knees are underneath the hips. So we'll just make this a nice smooth one. Breathing in, you lift the eyes, lift the chest, shoulders back. As you breathe out, you're starting with the base of the spine, it's curling under, you're arching up through the spine, your chin is coming to your chest and you sit back into the heels. Bring your uh, forearms down, start with your eyes on the in-breath, the eyes are leading you forwards and the chest is open, the shoulders are back and then we roll again, the, the uh, tail tucks under, we arch up through the spine, it's all out breath, out breath, out breath, looking back towards the feet. Forearms come down, elbows come down, and you start breathing in, the eyes come forward. So try to make this without any stops or pauses. We're constantly moving with the breath. It's like a cyclical thing, breathing in. I sometimes like to think of this movement as like a wave of the ocean coming through my body, particularly in the spinal column. You know, it's like breathing in, it's like wave coming up. The chest is leading, the eyes are leading, and then it curls under itself and sits back and goes away. And just uh, close your eyes. I invite you to close your eyes and just feel into this. Feel into this beautiful wave through the body. Breathing in. Slow and steady. Really keep your mind anchored to your breath and your body. Closing the eyes really helps to do that because we are we take away one of the major distractions of the visual sit back into the heels just rest there next time you sit back into the heels if you're not there right now just rest there bring the forward to the ground pull the back of the hands and breathe in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth maybe have another little release this time you breathe in through the nostrils and then make this sound with the lips just to release the mouth the lips, the tongue, where a lot of tension can come in. Breathing in. Good. Keeping the arms extended out in front of you. Breathing in, lift the, lift the, the hips up. Breathing out, take the hips forward. Open the chest, shoulders down away from your ears. Breathing in, coming up. Breathing out, sit back, really take the sitting bones back to the heels, squeeze all the breath out until there's nothing left. Then the inhale comes in slowly. It lifts you up, then the exhale, you come forwards. Open the chest on the exhale. Keep going until there's no more breath. And then the inhale lifts you. So enjoy that constant movement, constant releasing the breath out, using the inhale to lift you to motivate and then breathing out. Open the chest, shoulders down away from the ears, look up. Open the chest, open the heart, breathing in and breathing out. And just rest again, sitting back into the heels. Bring the forehead to the ground. Sweep the hands back into the pose of the child and really let the shoulders sink forwards. Relax the jaw. <sighs> A few sighs out through the mouth. Ah, yeah, let it go. Whatever is there, let it go. Release. Whatever you're feeling, whatever's coming up, whatever's moving through your body, allow it, allow it, allow it. Keep allowing. This is a good space to allow. It's a safe space. Your yoga practice is a safe, supported space for whatever you need to do, whatever your body particularly needs your breath good so we'll just come up to seated once more walk the hands forward come onto the front of the body nice and easy rest on the side of the head again with this contact with the ground just breathe deeply feel the belly expand the chest expand against the ground feel that contact with the ground so all floor based in um, the restorative practice. So we're staying close to the ground. We don't often, you know, have much connection with the ground. So it's really good to do that. Breathing in deeply, <sighs> sighing out through the mouth, good. Let's just uh, bring a little back bend, a simple little back bend in here, bring the legs together, just to release any tension in the spine. Breathing in, lift the eyes, nose, chin, chest. 
breathe out. Then lift the arms on the inhale, keep lifting. We're not forcing, we're not pushing, we're just keeping it quite um, just lively. And then you're breathing in next time you lift the legs up. Really think about lengthening the front of the body. So the chest is going forwards, breathing in. Looking forwards, looking upwards, breathing out, maintain. One more breath in and release down. Let everything go. Rest on the other side of the head. Rest, 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 rest. Okay, and when you're ready, you can roll onto your back. The spine, whatever way feels easiest to come onto your back. And we'll just counter that uh, back bend by hugging the knees. That's going to feel great after that back bend. So just rocking side to side. And then we'll just do some circles, make some circles on the ground. I'm just going to get myself more central here. Good. And let's just take the hands on top of the knees and draw a big circle around with the knees. Breathing in, take the knees away. Breathing out, draw the knees into the body. Don't forget with this one, you can also do this without your hands. You're going to let your hands rest. But still maintaining that same breath. So as you make space for the breath, the knees come away. Inhaling. Exhaling, you're squeezing the breath out. So you draw the knees into the body. And so also see if you can just feel that your base of your spine is lifting off the ground. Gets a good bit of movement in the belly. Always good to give the belly a little squeeze, assisting the uh, digestive system. And then we'll take the other direction. So we keep it nice and even, both sides. This is very calming as well. We're calming down, we're slowing down. We're unwinding, unwinding, unwinding. And I'm letting the body relax. We're encouraging it. We're getting out of the way, removing the obstacles, removing the tension so the energy can flow, we can relax, and the body can do what it wants to do, which is heal and relax, soften and relax. Now, as you breathe in, you take the knees away. And as you breathe out, you pull the knees into the body and we're curving the spine as you breathe out. As you breathe in, you flatten the back to the ground. Back of the neck is nice and long. You can even take the hands away slightly if you want to, but always on the out breath, draw the knees into the body. It's almost even that the tail comes off the ground. You're getting so small, like a little, little shell. So I say if you want to, you can take the hands away and take the um, legs away as far as you wish. If you want to make it more expansive, but you don't need to. You can just stay with the simple version, holding onto the knees. But whatever you're doing is stay with the breath. Stay with that focus on the breath. So the body is following the breath. So the breath is in charge for a change. And the body's just following in time, inhaling. You can take the legs as far away as you feel is good for you today. Really going very small on the exhale. One more. Keep the back glued to the ground and exhaling. Good. Now extend the legs up, extend the arms up. Everything's reaching up to the ceiling. Push the heels of the feet and draw the toes towards you. Yeah. Let's just flex the wrists and ankles. We're going to flex everything all at once. Yeah, and breathing, keeping the back very glued to the ground. Just stretching the backs and the fronts of the legs as well. It's a good feeling. And let's rotate now. Let's move that all. Wrists and ankles. Yeah, it feels good. The legs are getting a bit of a rest. In a way, the legs are getting a bit of a rest because they're, a diff they're the opposite way up. They're inverted um, than the, the way they normally are when we're walking around. So it gives, it gives them a little bit of a rest. Good. And rotating in the other direction with the toes and the fingers. And then hugging the knees once more. Good. Place the soles of the feet on the ground, slide the legs away. Now give yourself a full extension. Breathe in deeply, feel your whole body. How does it feel now? How does the back feel? How does your chest feel? How do your shoulders feel? Let's just give ourselves a little bit of a stretch either side, just so we can release any last bits of tension there. So holding onto the left wrist with the right hand. Let's push the left heel away. Draw the toes towards you, breathe in to the left side and as you breathe out, let the head roll over to the right, resting on the arm and just pulling the left arm upwards and over the head slightly. You can even tense the left buttock slightly if you want to get a little bit more 
length, only if it feels okay, and you're not creating more tension. Right side is just relaxed, it's just totally relaxed. Left side is getting lengthened, creating space in the left side of the body. Using your breath and then exhaling, relax. Let, just let that left wrist go and let it slide away. Ah, yes. Just take a moment to notice the difference between the sides of the body, the shoulders, the leg, the waist, and take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Push the right heel away, just relax the left side, just rock or roll the left leg, just to remind you to relax now. Breathing in, push the right heel away. Breathing into the right side of the body, and as you breathe out, really extend, pulling that right wrist slightly or guiding it there, and let the head roll over to the left. So you're resting your head on your left upper arm. Keep lengthening through the right side, lengthening. Just enjoy your breath and the space you're creating in your body. Releasing tension as you create space and breathing in one more time and release, let go of the right wrist. Ah, oh, yeah, feels so good. Bend the knees again, bring the left knee, bend the right knee and just hug them once more to the chest. Put the soles of the feet on the ground again, working with the spine, moving and breathing. This is the really uh, the best way to work with the body is to really keep yourself mindful for your breath. Bring the hands down, palms down. The feet are hips width apart, close to the buttocks. We're going to come up into a moving bridge, up and down. Chin is very tightly tucked in, as much as you can. It's like your chin wants to touch your chest. Now, as you, don't forget, let's just get this, um, this little hip, uh, this pelvic tilt going. So the pelvic tilt is basically, you know, you let your, let your back lift off the ground slightly and relax the belly. And then you push the back into the ground and draw the pelvic floor slightly. So we're just going to do a few of these little movements, really nice or getting in contact with the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, similar thing in the yoga practice. And also getting a bit of um, engagement with the thighs there. Because you can even let your tail just lift off the floor there as you, as you draw the pelvic floor up and you feel your back push into the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. Just enjoy that little rocking back and forth you can just rock that there so just relax that for a minute again remember to tuck the tin tuck the chin in tightly so we're going to start just rocking and then we're going to breathe in lift the hips off the ground open the front of the body knees going away from you open the chest and as you breathe out you're rolling down through the spine until the base of the spine reaches the ground let's see if you can do this with the arms if you want to this is a choice some people prefer this breathing in and breathing out, rolling the spine down. And again, something for your mind to uh, focus on is try to keep, I didn't do it very well that time, but try to keep the movement of the spine and the arms in sync. So the arms have got a longer distance to go, so they have to go slightly faster than the back. So that when your back reaches the ground, just at that moment, yes, the hands reach the ground. This gives your, your mind, which um, needs, needs lots of things to uh, focus on, so the breath and the movement of the body is what the mind is tethered to. We're anchoring ourselves to the breath, the breath being the center of everything. Inhaling, open the front of the body. And exhaling, breathing out. We'll maybe do one more here. Keep that chin tucked in, breathing in. You can do it with or without the arms, it's up to you. And rolling the spine down slowly down through the back and just to finish hug the knees once more and just rock and roll around enjoy that movement and then we'll place the soles of the feet on the floor once more line twists one of my favorite things so extend the arms out to the sides We'll try, we'll try this with the feet together, actually. This is kind of what I call the big foot version. So the sides of the feet and the legs are together. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, let the knees fall down to the right. And at the same time, the head goes over to the left. And you're keeping this, the sides of the feet together, so it becomes like one big foot. Breathe out fully. Then the next in-breath, you lift the head to centre, lift the knees to centre. And as you breathe out, you let the knees fall to the left and the head goes over to the right. So just moving with your breath, try to slow it down, breathing in 
And the way to slow and deepen your breath, the most effective and immediate way to do that is to lengthen the out breath, breathing in. So when you are twisted, breathe out fully. Keep breathing out beyond the point where you think you've breathed out and just squeeze that last bit of breath out. And the next breath will come in. Just moving and breathing. Good. So you can keep on with that one if you want. Or if you want to try this one, which I, I prefer, I really like, because I like this, uh, it feels nicer. It feels, I like the way it moves in the hips more. You can take the feet apart, maybe as wide as the mat. We'll, we'll just finish with this. We'll just do a little breathing practice after this, actually, breathing in. And as you breathe out, let the knees fall down to the right and the head goes over to the left. And just moving with the breath again, breathing in, bring the head and knees to centre, breathing out, let the knees fall to the left, head goes over to the right. Just enjoy, enjoy the body being moved by the breath. And you can even do this with your eyes closed. Try it. Try it with the eyes closed, see how it feels. How does your spine feel? You can imagine as you're doing this, you're breathing in and out through the spine. Breathing like a straw is sucking the breath up from the best base of the spine, going right to the top of the head. Yeah, that will give, definitely give your mind something to focus on as you breathe and move. Okay, so that's the last one. Come back to center. Hug the knees once more, see how that feels. And we'll just uh, take the hands behind the knees maybe and rocking along the length of the spine. We'll just roll up to seated or find a nice easy way, whatever way feels most easiest for you to come to seated. We're gonna try a breathing practice, which, which I feel really um, uh, goes well, or pre precedes yoga nidra really beautifully. So, and it's prana mudra. So we have to sit, in a comfortable position, kneeling or cross-legged. Sit on a cushion if that's better for you. Sitting nice and tall, lifting the chest and keeping the shoulders down, head on top of the body, chin slightly tucked in, back of the neck long. Let's bring the hands low on the body. It's almost touching. It's just like, you know, an inch away from the body, as close as you can without touching. And the fingers are pointing towards each other, the palms are facing towards the body. So we're really in contact with our energy field, which is, you know, around the body. So as you breathe in, your fingers are coming up, they're pointing towards each other still, and they're very close, right in front of the face, not touching, but very close, and comes right at the top of the head. Some of you may be up here, so try and keep it close. And then as you breathe out, the fingers come out, down to the sides and come back. The arms are nice and soft, but they're kind of, they got a good position there. Low down the body, drawing up. So you, it's good to, at the beginning to keep your eyes open so you can, you know, get a feeling of where your hands are moving in space. And then when you feel comfortable, then you can close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, then you can get this kind of inner or sensory part much more. This is prana mudra. So we are, this is a way of expanding prana. This is what pranayama breathing practices are, expanding prana, the subtle energy of the body. In other systems, we call this chi and um, what else is another thing that will come to me. But in yoga, we call this prana. So the, with your eyes closed, just feel as you're breathing in, you're drawing up energy, light, up through the center of the body, right to the top of the head. And as it comes to the top of the head and your hands come over your head, imagine that light pouring out the top of the crown of your head like a beautiful fountain, sparkling light over the whole body. Yeah, like a fountain. Let me come back to the beginning and we're drawing up that beautiful, refreshing, cleansing, purifying, energizing breath, right to the top of the head and it pours out, showers down over the whole body as you breathe out and come back breathing in drawing it up you can visualize or feel this we'll just do a few more of these slow and steady it's a steady stream of breath try and keep it steady and really pay attention to how it feels notice if you're if you're frowning or if your jaw is getting tight, just relax the face. Keep the whole body really relaxed and engaged. Good. Wait, it's the last one. 
Good. So when you finish this one, wherever you are, don't hurry. Just move at the same pace and just let the hands fall into the lap. Still keeping your eyes closed for a second. And take a moment to notice, how do I feel? Is there anything you notice, any shifts, any sensations? Just take a little look, a feel, uh, yeah, observe for a moment. And then we'll just take that hopefully soft healing energy into our yoga needle. So you're going to lie back the body, however you want to, you know, be comfortable. Lying the body back in Shavasana or whatever other adaptation but it's best to lie on your back whatever you do whether you have your um, legs elevated sometimes it's really nice to put um, a cushion underneath your knees so that your back can be in contact with the ground i always like to do that in yoga nidra and it's either a folded blanket or a very small cushion underneath the head if you need that position if you need to you know uh clarify that position of your neck okay so we are here we're about to practice yoga nidra so give yourself some time if you need to um, find things you want to cover yourself, sometimes even just a thin, thin shawl. It feels nice to feel contained in the yoga nidra. So, lying on your back in Shavasana. Take a moment just to steady yourself. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils. And sigh out through the mouth. Just release. Let go everything. Allowing your body to just relax. Feel the ground beneath your body. Close your eyes. Put some space between your feet. There's not space between them already and arms away from the body. Breath coming in and breath going out. So if you need any more release, take a deep breath in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth. And now just let the breath soften. And bring your focus of attention to your body, softening and relaxing. And know that you are going to practice yoga nidra. Practice of yoga nidra is the act of hearing and the act of feeling. So this is where our attention is placed. You listen to my voice. And stay in your awareness of your sensations in your body. So say to yourself now mentally, I'm going to practice yoga nidra. I will not sleep. I shall only listen to the voice. So give yourself some time to become calm, steady and still. And take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, feel calmness spreading throughout the body. And as you are breathing out, say to yourself mentally, relax. Become aware of sound. Become aware of the sounds in the distance. Become aware of the most distant sounds that you can hear. Hearing distant sounds and following them for a few seconds without having to identify the source of any of these sounds. Gradually bringing your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside the building you're in. And then to sounds inside the building you're in. Now develop your awareness of the room that you're in. And without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls, the ceiling, the floor, and your body lying on the floor. See your body lying on the floor. Become aware of the, dis the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. 
total awareness of your body lying in perfect stillness. Your body is lying on the floor. Develop your awareness of all the physical meeting points between your body and the floor. Become aware of the natural breath. Become aware of the deep, natural, spontaneous breath. Just following this natural process. I keep on listening to my voice and know that you are breathing. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins. So say mentally to yourself, I am going to practice Yoga Nidra I will not sleep. And this is the time to make your resolve. A simple resolve or sankalpa. Simple words. So please state your resolve clearly with feeling and awareness three times. Now the rotation of consciousness, rotating your awareness through the different centers of the body as quickly as possible. So the awareness has to move from point to point. You can repeat mentally the name of the body part after I name it, as you simultaneously become aware of that body part. The practice begins with the right side of the body. Bring your attention to the right hand. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Little finger. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand. Wrist. Lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Bring your attention to the left side of the body. Bring your attention to the left hand, left hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Bring your attention to the back of the body. Bring your attention to the right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, the length of the spine 
the whole of the back together. Bring your attention to the front of the body. Bring your attention to the top of the head. Um. Bring your attention to the forehead. Right eyebrow, left eyebrow. The eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, the nose, the tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, lower abdomen. Bring your attention to the whole of the right leg, whole of the left leg, both legs together. Whole of the right arm, whole of the left arm, both arms together. Whole of the back, whole of the front, whole of the head, together. Legs, arms, back, front, head, together. The whole of the body together the whole of the body together, the whole of the body together. Develop your awareness of the whole body and become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the body and this space that is occupied by your body. Body and space. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. And at the same time become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting points between the back of your head and the floor. Shoulder blades and the floor. The elbows and the floor the back of the hands and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Awareness of all the meeting points between the body and the floor. The sensation of all points simultaneously, evenly. Carry on feeling these points clearly and distinctly.
switch your attention to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. And then the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips. The space between the lips. From the lips we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of respiration navel to throat, throat to navel. Following the breath with your awareness. Maintain your awareness, total awareness of breathing. The breathing is slow and relaxed. Bring your attention to the following sensations. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness. Become aware of heaviness in every single part of the body. You are feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Heavy body. Awareness of heaviness. Awareness of heaviness in the whole body. Bring your attention to the sensation of lightness. Awaken the feeling of lightness. Awaken the feeling of lightness. A sensation of lightness and weightlessness in all parts of the body. Your body feels so light, so light it feels. Your body feels so light that it seems to be floating up away from the floor. Awareness of lightness in the whole body. Now bring your awareness to the sensation of cold. The experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you are walking on a freezing cold floor in the winter with bare feet. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over your body. Awareness of coldness. Awareness of coldness in the whole body. Now bring your awareness to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat. The whole body is hot. 
the whole body is hot. You feel hot all over your body. Feeling the heat of summer when you are out in the sun with no shade. Heat all over the body. Heat all around the body. Awareness of heat in the whole body. Bring your awareness to the experience of pain. Focus and try to remember the experience of pain. Any pain you have experienced in your life, mental or physical. Recollect the feeling of pain. Allow it, explore it, investigate it. A feeling of pain, a real feeling of pain. Recollect the feeling of pleasure. Any kind of pleasure, physical or mental. Recollect this feeling fully and relive it. Allow it to become vivid and real. Awaken the feeling of pleasure. A real feeling of pleasure and feel it for real. And make sure that you are not sleeping and say to yourself, I am awake, I am practicing yoga nidra. Withdraw your mind and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen through which you can see infinite space. A space that extends as far as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. Now with your inner vision and awareness and senses, bring your attention and awareness to the following images. Imagine yourself in a park in the early morning. The sun has not risen and the park is deserted except for yourself. It is a beautiful park, calm and peaceful. Walk across the springy grass. Listen to the birds whistle and call as they welcome in the new day. There are gardens of flowers, roses, yellow, pink, red, purple. Smell their fragrance and see the early morning dewdrops on their petals.
Nearby the rose garden is a fish pond. Goldfish swim in and out amongst the water lilies. See their graceful movements. You walk between trees, beautiful trees, bare trees and trees with leaves. Wide spreading trees and tall, stately trees. There is a clearing between the trees. In the clearing is a small temple with an aura of light around it. Go to the door. It is cool and dim inside. Inside on the walls, there are pictures of great saints. You sit down on the floor, close your eyes and become still. A sense of deep peace and harmony envelops you as the sounds outside fade into the distance. Continue your awareness of meditation inside the temple. Stay there for some time until peace and harmony pervade. Bring your awareness back to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become too involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifests, for example, colors, patterns, symbols, images, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts occur, let them come and go but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now remember your resolve, your Sankalpa, and repeat the same resolve you made at the beginning of the practice in the same words and with the same attitude. Repeat your Sankalpa now three times clearly with feeling and emphasis. Namida Bernat Bernam Uda Shate Bernasia Bernamidaia Bernamida Vasasha become aware of your breathing become aware of your natural breathing a 
awareness of breathing and awareness of relaxation. Develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Develop awareness of the room, the walls, the ceiling, sounds in the room, the sounds outside the room. Slowly take your mind out. Allow your mind to become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments with your eyes closed. Just give yourself time to transition from one state to the waking state. Start moving your body gently, stretch yourself, move the hands and feet, fingers and toes. Breathe a little deeper, taking your time without hurrying. Just start to gradually come awake. Give yourself a full stretch, maybe bend the knees, hug the knees. Take your time. And when you're sure that you're wide awake, you can sit up slowly. Take your time to come to seated. The Yoga Nidra is now complete. Hari Om Tat Sat. So I'm coming to seated now. Coming to seated. You can unmute yourself if you wish. And just ground yourself a little bit, take your mind out, become external. So feeling your body, looking at your body, this will help to take the mind out whatever you need to do for the rest of the day, just rubbing the body a little bit, the face, and feel a sense of gratitude for this body as it is right now. And let's just rub the palms together to finish. Let's make a little bit of a, a loving moment. Take some heat and energy, not really need any more heat, well I don't. <laughs> Place the hands over the heart center, close your eyes, and bring to mind a person or people that you really want to send a loving thought, healing thought, they can be anywhere in the world. They can be alive or dead. It doesn't matter. Just whoever comes to mind, that's the person you need to just have a moment with. Send your love, your healing, your light to them directly from your heart to them. Mm. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.